Okay, Assalamualaikum and very good morning. Okay, class. Uh, today we are going to uh, do a calculation uh, for second strategy. Okay, under aggregate planning, which is a uh, very workforce strategy. Before this, we have already learned about the constant workforce, very overtime and subcontracting strategy. I hope that you are you all of you understand and then if you have any question you can ask me. Okay, so now this is the second activity, second calculation, okay, ataupun second strategy which is um very workforce strategy kita panggil by hiring and layoff. By hiring and layoff means that very very workforce strategy ni maksudnya dia punya uh, workers tu uh, setiap bulan berbeza-beza. Okay. And then um, kalau tak cukup kita ambil pekerja. Kalau pekerja lebih kita buang pekerja. Uh, this is the strategy for second uh, strategy. Okay. So now you can refer to the page uh, one, three, 132 okay, 132 example number 2 okay uh, kita baca soalan actually the the uh, strategy uh, is different uh, from first strategy but the way how you want to get the other information is the same so when you um, when you read the question please read properly okay and carefully to make sure that you are understand the question and all the information given in the question okay so okay refer to example number two page one three two okay so kita baca dulu soalan eh nazara berhad supplies aluminium alloy part to automotive industry in manchester united okay okay dia me, dia supply dia, dia dia supply aluminium alloy the forecasted demand in units for the for the parts over the next six month planning horizon is so dia buat supply uh, dia, dia supply aluminium alloy dalam masa enam bulan kepada Manchester United. So the the information are given in the table. Okay. So you nampak kan ada month ada forecasted demand sama dengan First strategy kan, ha, dia bagi bulan dan juga forecasted demand. So, use the following information to develop aggregate planning. Okay, so now, current workforce level 20 workers. So, dia ada 20 orang bekerja. Labor hours per unit. Okay, labor hours per unit which is 48 minutes per unit means that dia nak produce satu aluminium alloy tu memakan masa selama 48 minit okay working hours 8 hours per day working days per month 25 days regular wage rate okay well, regular wage rate means that um bayar kadar bayaran gaji kepada pekerja 5 ringgit per hour Okay, 5 yen eh. Over time, 120% of regular wage rate. Holding cost, 15, 50 cent per unit per month. Hiring cost, 400 per workers. And also, layoff cost, 500 per workers. Develop an aggregate production plan, plan using very workforce strategy to meet forecasted demand for the next 6 month period. So, dia suruh kita develop aggregate planning untuk uh, 6, bulan, 6 bulan ni, okay, uh, dengan menggunakan very workforce strategy. Ingat ya kelas, bila, bila soalan minta very workforce strategy, dia mestilah hiring and layoff. Okay, dia ambil pekerja dan dia buang peka, pekerja. And then, dalam kita punya information ni pun, ada yang tak ada kaitan dengan kita punya soal soalan. Dia letak kat sini saja nak confusekan you all. Takut you, dia nak tahu you all ni faham tak strategi mana dia suruh buat. 
Ah, eh, kalau you all confuse with the information, ah, maybe you akan salah strategi. Ingat eh, strategi apa dia suruh guna last kali dia akan bagi tahu dalam soalan. Using very workforce strategy, develop aggregate planning. Using constant workforce strategy by uh, oh, uh, apa ni? Uh, by do over time and also subcontracting. Dia bagi tahu. So you can follow that strategy. So as usual, dah siap baca soalan kan? You faham soalan? Okay, bila uh, very workforce strategy, this is the column, okay, that you need to draw, okay, uh, before we calculate the uh, aggregate planning. So, 2, 4, 6. Actually, untuk very workforce strategy, you need to draw 6 column, okay, 6 column, and then ada month lah yang wajib kita letak. Yang dia bagi dalam table awal-awal tadi kan Man dan juga forecasted demand Forecasted demand ni yang kita fokus untuk setiap bulan Berapa kita nak pro produce Okay And then you need to calculate Actual workers required Okay Actual worker required Current workers Okay Hiring and also layoff column Ah, ni you kena hafal eh. You kena hafal lah. Tapi you all nasib baik. Sebab you all tak ada final exam. So kalau keluar dalam quiz nanti. You boleh refer buku kan. Sebab quiz on online. Ah, So now. How to calculate actual workers required. Current workers. Hiring work, hiring and also lay off. Macam mana nak kira. Okay, don't worry. It's very a simple calculation. Okay, so kita tengok sini. Ah, kita tengok calculation kita ni kelas ni. This one. Nampak tak? Macam silau tak? Okay. Hmm. Okay, so now. Nak kira. Nak kira actual worker required. Okay. Nak kira actual worker required, okay, before that, okay, before that, you need to calculate this one, monthly output per worker, okay, maksudnya, you kena cari dulu monthly output per workers, Sore pekerja Berapa dia boleh produce Barulah you boleh cari Untuk satu bulan Kalau dia produce 5,500 Berapa workers kita kena ha, Ada ha, Nampak tak? Okay ha, So now first calculation is You need to find out Monthly output per workers So formula dah ada dalam soalan Eh sorry dalam you punya table tu kelas Okay, dia dah bagi dah uh, Dia bagi dah dalam page 129 tu ha. Monthly worker Output per workers Equals to ha, ni. Unit per day Times number of working days Okay, so unit per day Ha, macam mana nak kira unit per day? Ha, dalam dalam you punya formula ada kan? Page 129 tu. This one class. Okay. Dia kata unit per day equals to unit per hour times number of working hours per day. Ha, so this one bila you all nak kira you, number of number of output per workers okey you kena tengok dekat unit per day dalam soalan awak tu okey dalam soalan mana soalan saya tadi ha Dia kata satu unit memakan masa 48 minit. 
Satu hari you bekerja lapan jam. Kan? So, macam mana nak kira? Dua cara kita ada. Satu, you boleh convert kepada minit. Satu lagi you boleh convert kepada jam. Sama saja. Tapi kalau saya, saya convert kepada mi, minit. So, satu unit empat puluh lapan minit. So, kalau lapan jam, satu hari berapa dia boleh produce? Ha, so, equals to uh, 40 Darab monthly, eh, sorry, number of working days. So, kalau you nak tukar, kalau you all nak tukar kepada minit, kan? Satu unit, 48 minit. Kita bekerja satu hari, 8 jam, kan? So, 8 jam tu kena tukar kepada minit lah. This one is mathematics biasa. So, 4, 8 jam darab 60, this one, kan? Bahagi ialah 48 minit. So, equals to 480 bahagi 48 darab 25. So, you will got 250 units. Kan? So, satu workers dia boleh produce sebanyak 250 unit of aluminium alloy. For uh, satu hari One day Okay ha. Ni cara nak kira Nak tukar jam kepada minit Okay Ada satu pengiraan lagi You tukarkan Okay 48 minit ni kepada jam So dia akan jadi Ataupun 8 jam bahagi 0.8 Darab 25 So 10 darab 25 250 units Sama sahaja kelas So it's up to you Okay it's up to you Which one you feel uh, Easy for you to Calculate Okay Ah, Senang je Kalau saya saya suka guna hot ni Minit Okay Haa boleh So, first calculation you need to uh, do. Okay. Barulah you boleh cari. Number dua, actual workers required. So, actual workers required. You tengok dia punya final. Eh, sorry, final pula. Dia punya formulas. Ada tak? Actual workers required. Tak ada eh. Haa. So, actual workers required sama dengan actual, saya guna gambar orang ni. Kalau gambar orang sore tu, ha, tu ke? Ni ke? Ni? Tu ialah workers ni. Ha, saya tak tulis workers, saya, saya buat gambar orang saja. Actual worker required equals to Ah, uh, forecasted demand divided by monthly output per workers. Ah, uh, this one is formula for actual worker required. Tak ada dalam buku teks awak kan? Eh, okay, ada lah. Monthly output per worker. Ah, monthly demand divided by uh, standard output per workers ada eh. Ha, so, senang je. Ambil yang ni kelas. This one. Januari, Februari, Mac, April, Mei, Jun. So, 5,500 bahagi 250. 4,500 bahagi 250. 5,000 bahagi 250. 
6500 bahagi 250 6000 bahagi 250 5750 bahagi 250 ha. So kita kira berapa dapat Sini 22 18 20 26 24 23 Ha kan Senang je Ok Boleh Boleh kelas setakat tu Ok kan ha, So now kita pergi sini pula Current workers Current workers ni dalam soalan Dia dah bagi information kan Dia dah bagi information 20 orang kan dia kata Ha Current workforce level 20 So tulis 20 kat sini Ambil dalam soalan Current workers So now Macam mana nak buat Okay now Sekarang Kita nak guna 22 orang workers Kan Untuk produce 5,500 Tetapi We just only have 20 workers Cukup ke tidak kita nak produce 5,500 dengan 20 orang pekerja? Tak, cu tak cukup. Kalau nak produce 5,500, kena ada 22 orang pekerja. Kan? Ha. So now, you need to hire two workers. Ha. Okay? You need to hire two workers. Ha. So lay off tak adalah Kan So you kena hire dua orang Pekerja baru dah cukup dua puluh Dua ha. So sekarang berapa yang ada pekerja Dua puluh tambah dua Dua puluh dua So sini akan jadi dua puluh Dua Current worker sekarang you ada And then untuk bulan Februari You just only want to produce 4500 So kita kira We just only want workers 18 workers only But now we have already We already have 20 to 22 workers So kita lebih ke kita kurang pekerja Kita ku kurang kan Eh sorry ha Kita, kita lebih Lebih So, 22 tolak 8, 4 orang kita kena bu buang. Oh, ni memang strategi yang ku, yang yang orang panggil apa? Kejam lah kan. Nak ambil tak si buang. Ha. So, lay off sebanyak 4 orang. Ha. So, 22 tolak 4 jadi current workers kita 8, 18. So, sekarang kita kita nak guna workers 20 kita ada 18 ha, So tak cukup 2 orang kan So kita kena ambil lagi 2 orang So hiring 2 workers 18 campur 2 20 Nampak? So bila 20 Untuk bulan April nak produce 6,500 Nak kena ada 20 or not 26 orang workers tapi kita just ada 20 20 So you need to hire 6 workers right Ha 6 workers So current workers kita 20 plus 6 20 Untuk bulan Mei Kita nak guna hanya 24 orang Tapi kita ada 26 Kena bu buang So buang 2 orang Kan? So 26 tolak 2 24 So 2 bulan bulan Jun nak produce 5750 Kena ada 23 workers Tetapi ada 24 kita kena bu buang seorang ha. Senang ke susah? Sangat-sangat senang So you need to total up semua kelas Total up yang ni eh 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6 Jadi 1, 3, 3 Kena total up yang hiring Dan juga lay off 
टू फॉर टेन फॉर सेवन हाँ नंबर बोले क्लास सुनाऊं जाए उन तो वेरी वर्क फॉर स्ट्रेटजी हाँ सो इंगा ए nak cari actual workers required you kena cari dulu uh, monthly output per workers baru boleh cari actual workers required okey ha lepas tu baru kira satu satu okey this is the first video i will give you the next video untuk calculate the total cost so this one kita baca yang ni dulu next video you akan belajar How to calculate the total cost for aggregate planning. Okay, so that's all. Thank you.